In this video, I'm going to be covering seven things that you need to know before you get into nursing school and start the whole education process because these were very surprising to me and they made the whole experience, you know, a little uncomfortable. So I just want to better prepare you for what is going to be coming to you in the next couple of months should you start nursing school. And it's always good to know what you're getting yourself into so that you can better prepare yourself than to just be caught off guard. So the very first thing is I didn't realize nursing school was as serious as it was. And don't get me wrong, of course, you know, everyone knows that university is much harder. But from my background, nursing is sort of viewed as the doctor light version where people don't think, you know, nursing is not that hard. I mean, you're not doing medicine, so it really shouldn't be that hard. And I got into it and it showed me flames. Yeah, ne? the whole work and school balance thing is, is, is hectic. Like I didn't really it was that bad and also I think when I got into nursing I wasn't aware that I was going to work or start working as early as I did I started university in Feb and then in March we were working so I didn't realize we were going to start as soon as we did and it really flustered me because you know you're just used to okay I must go to school learn the information right here so you're not used to the whole thing of balancing university and also balancing pretty much a full-time job because those 12 hour shifts are not a joke and they don't even take it lightly on you because you're a student all of that you're going to work hard as if you've been in the industry for so many years so i really didn't realize that nursing was as hectic and in the beginning i really didn't bring my a game because i was so chill about it so if you're studying nursing please do not take it lightly as soon as you get into it stay focused because you're going to fall behind very quickly nursing is very time consuming because obviously you've got your 12 hour shifts and then if you're working majority of your week you're going to have very few days to do normal schoolwork and as a result it's going to end up being a long school day for example in my third year mondays and tuesdays i was working in a clinic wednesdays i had skills lab so that means i was on campus and then thursdays i had community projects and then friday was the only day that i had lectures so all the content that i needed to know for my first semester was being covered pretty much in one day so that was classes from like nine till sometimes five and then would have tests afterwards so like now imagine you've just come back from work you've witnessed like a lot of dates and then you also had your own fights with the people that you are working with you know you've been working really hard your short stuff and then now you need to go home and do your normal life at home because you know obviously you need to separate the two of them after you've done your normal life at home you still need to study and still be mentally awake to able to do that so late nights are going to be a thing for me i have found a system that has allowed me not to have as many all-nighters but it is going to happen and you need to be aware that it's going to take a lot of your time and most people know you're going to miss out on birthdays on events because if you're working in a hospital setting which is mostly your first and your second year you're going to miss out on a lot of functions because you need to have your 4,000 hours by the time you graduate and as a result you really can't be missing your placement dates so you're going to have to make those sacrifices and as a result you're going to feel as if university is taking <laughs> A whole big chunk out of your life you also need to be aware that even though university is very time consuming it is manageable because I'm currently juggling university clinical placements I've got this YouTube channel and then I'm also tutoring on the side I'm in a relationship you know I'm the oldest in my family and as a result you know being the female aka you are the deputy parent so i've got also those responsibilities so as a result it is manageable for you to have a normal high school university life where you still have other things that you want to do outside like i literally can exercise four to five times a week i can eat eat a healthy diet and all of that so if you manage your time correctly and you're prioritizing your things you definitely can have the best of both worlds okay and then this one i didn't realize that it should be as hectic as it is yes of course everyone knows that you know university is hard it's going to require a lot of emotional strength and all of that jazz i get that that part i understand but when you are adding work into it 
it just brings a whole another level to it and as a result you have to juggle both so you're going to feel very stressed you're going to be overwhelmed and your mental health will really be challenged so be aware that you're going to need a strong support system during that time make sure that you're doing things in advance so that you're not doing anything last minute because if you do you are really going to end up having a panic attack and just getting into a whole lot of mental breakdown if you don't get yourself organized it will really save you a lot of stress in addition to that i didn't realize i was going to need as much support as i do i'm a very independent child like i've never had my parents say okay what homework do you have today what are we doing what are you doing in school and that sort of thing i've just always been a person who can manage my own calendars what's going on in school i can balance everything get everything done and that sort of thing so i've never really relied on other people to do things for me or expected them to do things for me or even ask like i've always minded my own business i know what's happening in school i get it done and life moves on but in university it's not that easy because if you try to do everything by yourself you're really going to drive yourself crazy because you're not going to be able to balance everything and there's going to be times when you're going to need someone to help you out so get yourself a really good strong friendship group where you can support one another whether that's venting or you are sharing notes so that you don't waste time doing those notes if someone else already has them or you can give them your notes or you're just having a session where you guys can both uh, help one another understand what is happening in the work just having someone who can support you in the whole learning process because if you don't and you try to do everything by yourself which is what i tried to do i had a lot and lot and lot of late nights and i was overly exhausted it just came to a point where i was just shutting down my body was just like we are tired so if you have that support it really does make things a little easier for yourself and you're not putting everything on yourself yeah university is hella expensive that part we get it but nursing just like nursing takes everything to a whole new level honestly first it's the stress it's a workload now it's expensive but in nursing there's a lot more hidden costs and things that you might not be aware of that you're going to be spending a lot of money on so when it comes to nursing or your uniform you're buying by yourself your equipment like your stethoscope your pen lights the moment all of that you're buying by yourself a lot of fees that you have to pay other than your tuition fees you've got your sang fees you've got vaccinations that you need to do and your clinical textbooks are going to be the biggest pie out of this whole thing like i have one textbook that costed me 700 rand just one and that was in second year so now imagine the expenses i had in first year third year and fourth year obviously there are ways that you can cut down the cost and that sort of thing like borrowing textbooks from the library taking the notes that you need so that you don't buy things and that sort of thing that was my top tip to you but just be aware that you're going to have a lot of added extra costs other than your tuition fees your registration fees and your residence or accommodation and if you're staying at home you're going to have a lot of traveling costs in the description box i've got a list of the different expenses that you're going to have during your nursing career so definitely check that out if you just want a breakdown of what is going to be expected of you so that you can have your budgets together because it's better to be prepared than to be caught off guard the sixth thing is nursing is a lot more about applying concepts than facts in high school we all pass with the whole thing of you take a textbook you cram what it says you put it on the exam paper and you passed in nursing it's not going to be like that you can't copy and paste what's in your textbook you're going to get zero and third year especially is going to be like that where they're going to ex expect you to be able to understand what is being told to you in a textbook and be able to apply it to scenarios because in nursing they do a lot of scenarios where they'll give you a certain scenario about the patient's condition this is what's happening around them and be able to apply the things that you know about that patient's condition the environment and how it affects their health and be able to make a diagnosis of what's going on with them and how to create treatment plans for them so as a result you need to be able to get your mind around that aspect you need to be able to understand why you're doing certain things for your patients you can't just be doing something because a textbook told you because yes a textbook can tell you to do something but it might not apply to every single patient that you're going to be dealing with as a result you need to understand what is happening with 
your patient be able to interpret the anatomy their physiology their emotional well-being and be able to prescribe the certain medication that you need able to provide a treatment plan for them so it's a lot more about understanding than just cramming facts yes you're going to have to cram things there's certain things that you just can't avoid you have to cram like your medication you have to know what the medication is what it does those are just you know remote um, verbal diarrhea type of things but majority of it is going to be more about concepts and understanding and the very last thing that i didn't know about nursing that someone i wish would have told me i would have been more excited about it i mean i was excited but i mean would have taken it up a level is that nursing allows you to be able to enter a whole lot of fields that i didn't realize you could enter into because i think when most people think of nursing they think of you know the people in the hospital or in a clinic setting and they are not aware that there's a lot more fields in nursing other than just being a bedside nurse or even a clinic nurse so next week i'm going to be doing a video on that so i'm really not going to focus on this point right now but i'm going to be going in depth into it next week so definitely subscribe turn on the notifications so that you do not miss that video it's a very very important topic so i will see you next week friday 12 p.m South african time for that video thank you guys so much for watching bye Thanks.